So when you don't have a hangar to put your helicopter in, this is what you've got to do to ensure that it starts in the morning. Hi, I'm Rick James, the pilot teacher, and today I'm going to be showing you how I get this aircraft all covered up to stay nice and warm during these cold winter nights. I'm out here in a remote mining camp and as you can see the aircraft is on the helipad and I have no hangar so to ensure that it's nice and warm and it starts in the morning when I go to take the cruise out I have to put her to bed so this is how I do it so when it starts to get really cold one of the things that we do is put a little body heater in the cabin and you know when you're around about zero to minus ten it just helps keep the cabin warm overnight but when I get in the aircraft in the morning the controls are not frozen so it doesn't pull the heat out of my hands and makes my hands frozen so that's how we keep the inside of the helicopter warm so one of the luxuries that we have on this helicopter is the Tannis heating system and it's really nice basically it plugs in have electrical heating pads, these orange pads, all the oil tanks, hydraulic reservoir, down here on the engine oil tank, and they basically just keep all the oils preheated nice and warm when the temperatures drop, so that it makes for much easier and safer engine starting in the morning after a long cold night. So here we've got some more tennis pads on the actual engine just to keep the uh, engine oil warm that's actually sitting in the engine there. And they're all linked to the tennis system. We've got one. Oh, you can't see but we've got one on the back end of the engine back here too. Just on the other side of here can't see at the moment but that all helps to keep the engine nice and warm and if it gets really really cold you know like minus 20 minus 25 I'll actually go and stick another body heater on the engine deck to keep it nice and warm once the uh, thermal covers are on so that's the tennis system for the engine we also have a tennis pad on the Terrorider gearbox here you can't see it's actually just tucked away back here but that's just to keep the Terrorider gearbox fluid nice and warm too so basically every single gearbox and reservoir on the aircraft has a tennis heating pad so I'm at that time of the year right now where it's kind of hovering around the minus five to like plus two kind of temperature and the one thing you don't want to do is to come out to your aircraft in the morning and it's had freezing rain during the night and my blades are covered in ice and it's just going to be a pain in the rear end to get it all defrosted for when the client wants to go lift off in the morning so unless I want to come out four hours before lift off time I'm going to put all the covers on
put to bed. So if we get melting snow or freezing rain throughout the night, doesn't matter, it'll take me 20 minutes to take them off because I spent 20 minutes to put them on. And that's far, far better than spending two to four hours de-icing and defrosting that machine. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell, then you'll know exactly when I release new videos. I try and get one out every week, usually on a Monday morning, and if you like this kind of stuff, then definitely hit that button. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, it really helps the channel. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you stick them down below. Um, I love making videos like this. I love answering your questions. And anytime I can get the camera out and show you something that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, then I will be more than happy. So I'll see you next time.